So in this episode, we're gonna say goodbye to Ruby, and man, we're gonna miss her. Yes, yes we are. We wanted to give you a quick explanation, also in this video, of what led us up to the decisions that we're going to be revealing. I'm so excited. Just know that our channel is going to always be about two wheels and the adventures that you can have on them. We're Rich and Chris. We hit the road in April of 2020, traveling on motorcycles. There are so many ways to get out and explore. But remember, it's not what you ride, but that it's your ride. This is probably our last night in Ruby. Golly, it's bittersweet again. We have had so many adventures in her. Look who came to visit us. I'm so excited when she came. Priceless, absolutely priceless. Highly recommend it. Just whatever you want to do, give it a try. You never know. Anyway, I'm gonna miss her. Bags inside of bags. Yep. The essence of motorcycle travel. packed up ready to hit the road we'll be in a different setup next time you see us we are going to do something completely different and that's okay now i'm excited goodbye for Cascadia. bye chester bye. bye chester bye great river road She was so good. I'm gonna miss her. I got like all the memories. I hate saying goodbye to stuff. I do. I <laughs> truly, it's all good. truly do. We felt that it was very important that you guys understood the reasons behind this next big change, and it's very exciting. I hope you're as excited about it as we are, because we're really, really excited about this next step. Anyway, big changes coming for Two Wheels Big Life, and it's all good. There's a progression here. Let's talk about real quick. 2019 came. Yep, I remember that. We yep. were in um, we were in Idaho. Yes, we took a 30 day trip. We we might have done a couple hotels. We did tent camping. We did KOA cabins on that 30 mm -hmm. day trip, and we decided that we wanted to do more of that. That's right. So, we so Chris asked me. She says, "What if uh, we just do this full time?" I have a question for you. What's that? How about if we sell the house, kick the kids out, and do this full time next summer for six months? Just on the bikes. Oh, oh, for six months? For six months. Okay. You could do that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, for sure. Then I'm in. Just this bump? This bump. All right. Just in case you think we're the worst parents ever about saying kick the kids out. They're, they're only 12 and 14. <laughs> no, <they're> no sorry. <laughs> sorry, backwards. 21 and 19. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was in. One question changed our entire lives. <laughs> so be careful of that question <laughs> that good. you ask. One question and one date. Yes. Because you have to put a date to it. And we did. We put a date of April 1st. That's right. Because if you don't have a date, it will never become the last minute. Yes. And then nothing gets done until the last minute. That yes. was that was 2019. Yes. So now we move into 2020. April, April comes. We set out originally we thought we were going to set out in a fifth wheel and so we had this conversation back and forth and we really could not 
put a pin on what we wanted to do. And so, as you know, if you followed us at all, we looked in the garage, the bikes were paid for, the Bush Tech trailer was paid for, and well, we all we had to do was buy a tent. Buy a good tent and a couple of good cots, and we were comfortable. Yeah. So, 2020, we traveled around in an REI Kingdom 6 tent. And what happened is the end of the year came and it got dark I'm trying and cold. To film something. Yeah. What do you want to film? I'm filming us. Us in the dark? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, like dark, it's dark again See? because it's dark. See, look, dark. Dark. Light. And we're sitting inside the tent with our little flashlights. We didn't have any twinkle lights. We didn't have any ability to have lights at right. that point. So you know that that kind of did us in. And then we found Ruby. We were at the Blue Ridge Campground off yes. the Blue Ridge Parkway. And we saw a camper very, very similar to Ruby, but blue. And it was awesome. And we immediately went out and got Ruby. Yes. And here's what Ruby did for us is she stepped up the level of comfort for us you yes. know after living in a, in the tent for that period of time i mean we're not spring chickens here come on we all no. knew the tent was was temporary. not it was yeah. temporary it was not permanent but ruby gave us a king size bed so i could snuggle <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think we ever went out on record and said yeah, that's that what it was. Ruby was never meant to be permanent. What yes. I loved about her is she allowed us to extend our tent camping experience for another year, yep. which was amazing. And she allowed us to travel in a unique way that I hadn't even considered. Mm -hmm. It is. Motorcycle pop-up tent trailers are an awesome way yeah. to tour the United States. And if you, I, you get one and you'll have everybody in the campsite come over and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, what happens. Yes. Yeah. Or, or stare in astonishment as you origami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They open it all up and they're like, wow. <laughs> we had to understand what our priorities were. And our priorities were to ride more, to be more comfortable, and also to explore more back roads. Mm -hmm. We have also uh, in this, spent the last year and a half, as we have wandered around, in campsites, in boondocking sites, we have looked at just about every way Everything. under the sun that people are out there traveling. Yep. Just know that our primary focus is on motorcycles, 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 motorcycles because that's our Because it's still, love. it's still about the ride. Yeah. Things are always going to evolve and change, and that evolve and change is good because if you don't step into a fear, you, you don't have a chance to grow. Well, I think change is inevitable, even mm -hmm. if you try to hold on to something, because mm -hmm. over time, whatever it is, is going to change. Without yes. further ado, here it is. Here's our, We're gonna here's go our next adventure. And we'll, we'll show you somewhere completely different from here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jared Brewer. I work for Martindale Chevrolet, and I've had the honor of selling oh, a 2021 3500 yep. HD. Jake is his name, all the way in New Madrid, Missouri, to all over the country, right? Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and I, I was just pulling in here thinking, you know, we bought this truck from this little tiny town, this little tiny Chevy dealership. Yeah. Out here in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> really, about the middle of nowhere. So. Definitely, definitely. Pretty cool. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. And now that we've got the truck, and it's very exciting, now we have to find a bed for it so that we can put the book, the two bikes on. And that's what we're shopping around for now. Nine foot, so it's a nine foot bed. Nice. It's big. We are at Floyd's picking up the truck, which is now had come here to get its bed put on. Yes. Real quickly, I just wanted to talk about the progression of what we've got going on here. We are going down the Mississippi River Road. We're on our motorcycles. We're towing Ruby. The next day we'd get up, we'd go ride in. It's 90 degrees. It's hot. It's humid. And we rinsed and repeat the, that for quite a while. And we get to a campground in Fort Kaskaskia, and I felt like um, Forrest Gump. I think I'm done yeah. running now. Yeah. yeah, so we got to that campground. I actually got heat, heat stroke, stroke. Heat, a little, a yeah. little heat stroke in, um, that evening. Once we said we're done and we are pivoting, the next day we had a truck. That same day, we also had 30 miles down the road, a place to put the bed on. So we had a place for the motorcycles. The very next day, we had a camper, the type of camper that we wanted. 
And you might think, well, that's no big deal. You got a truck, you got a camper. However, this is the end of 2021 when still trucks and campers are hard, hard, hard to, to find. find. And within, we pivoted just like that and I find it amazing. It, the day has finally arrived, we're picking up our new house. I'm so excited. I'm nervous, I'm scared. She's, she's ready to nest. <laughs> I am. That's it. Yes. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh. This is my deer in the headlights look. I'd rather be riding motorcycles. I'm coming. <laughs> How much more is there? Just, uh, this is it. Okay. I think I think a Kleenex box. <laughs> a Kleenex box is it. <laughs> I can't believe we had all this on motorcycles. So Base Camp is a 2018 Shamrock by Flagstaff. It's what you call a hybrid camper because it's uh, not all hard sided all the way around. The ends pop out into the beds and gives us a little bit more space inside. All right, come on in. Welcome to Base Camp. So here's one of the things that sold us on this particular unit or this style, this hybrid of campers is we still feel like we're camping because the ends open up into the beds pop out. And so it just feels more like you still have the outdoors that comes in a little bit. Yes, we sleep in separate beds again, but Chris is a wiggler, so it's okay. <laughs> I get a better night's sleep now. It's um, 21 feet long, 23 from end of the bumper yep. to the hitch, and 29 <laughs> when it's completely open. So it's really large inside when it's open. Yes. But very compact to be able to get into just about any campground out there. Yes. Yep. All right. That's what she is. Is it a she or a he? Base camp's kind of a unisex word. It's time to put the wheel trucks in. Thank you. Is that here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's test one. This is actually the very, very first time we're doing this. Yeah, it'll be good. We've got it. We're pros. We know exactly what we're doing, right? No, no, we don't. But it'll be okay. All right, test one. Take one. Here we go. 